Thank you, Rob. Next up is our grammarian, Mary Alice Richardson. And as she comes up, let me read what she said about happiness. She said, what makes me happy? Spending time with family, especially grandchildren. I could have said that myself. <laughs> Reading, swimming, looking at trees. Mary Alice Richardson. Thank you, Pete. My job as grammarian is first to make note of people's use of filler words. Filler words and sounds like um, uh, ah, which is a natural thing to try to fill in instead of pause. But when you're trying to think of what to say, but a pause <laughs> is a lot more effective and we try to minimize the use of filler words. My other job is to choose the word of the day. When you speak today, please try to use the word. It's an extra little discipline to remember to use the word. I wanted something that fit in with the theme of happiness. And I chose hedonism. Hedonism is the pursuit of or devotion to pleasure. The second meaning is the ethical doctrine that only that which is pleasant or has pleasant consequences is intrinsically good. In psychology, hedonism is the doctrine that behavior is motivated by the desire for pleasure and the avoidance of pain. A person who practices hedonism is a hedonist. There's an unusual word that's related, and that's hedonics. The study of the, the relation between pleasure and duty. And I have the red card, and I will stop. else, thank you. So next up for Thought Joke is Chris Bassett. I could have sworn we just saw you up here. And Chris wrote, happiness for me comes from connecting with other people, physical and mental exertion, and creatively expressing myself. Chris Bassett. The New York City Mafia was looking for a new man to make collections from all the private businesses that they were protecting. And feeling the heat from the police, they chose a deaf man for this job so that if he was ever caught by the police, he would not be able to communicate what he was doing. So, the, on his first week, the deaf man collects over $50,000. And this is more money than he's ever seen so he gets greedy and decides to keep the money and stash it in a safe place. Well, pretty soon, the Mafia realizes that their collection is late, so they send a couple of their goons to go find the deaf man. And when they find him, they ask him where the money is. But he can't communicate with them, so they have to take him to a sign language interpreter. So one of the goons asks the sign language, tells the sign language interpreter, ask him where the money is. So the interpreter signs to the deaf man, where is the money? And the deaf man signs back, I don't know what you're talking about. So the interpreter tells the goon, he says he doesn't know what you're talking about. So the goon pulls out a 38 caliber pistol 
and puts it right in the ear of the deaf man and says, now ask him where the money is. So the interpreter signs to the deaf man again, where's the money? The deaf man signs back, the $50,000 is hidden in Central Park. It's in a tree stump on the left of the West 78th Street gate. Please don't kill me. So the interpreter tells the goon, he says he still doesn't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And he doesn't think you have the guts to pull the trigger. <laughs> oh. 